today we will do another activity the objective of the activity is to obtain the conditions for consistency of a system of linear equations in two variable by graphical method to do this activity we will be needing three graph papers ruler pen or pencil the prior knowledge to do this activity is the knowledge of plotting the points as we know that the linear equation in two variable is in, in the form of a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0. Let us take first linear equation as 2x minus 3y minus 3 equal to 0. So, we will plot the graph of this linear equation. First of all, we will find three solutions. means you will find x, y and let us take the value of x as 0 when we take the value of x as 0 in the above equation we get the value of y as minus 1 then when we get the when we take the value of x as 3 we get the value of y as 1 and when we take the value of x as 6 we get the value of y as 3 now let us plot them first is 0 comma minus 1 so this is 0 comma minus 1 that is on the negative side of the y axis then we have 3 comma 1 so this is 3 and this is 1 and then we have 6 comma 3 so this is 6 and this is 3 let us join them all the, these three points so when we join these three points we find that these three points are in the they lie on a line we can say these three points as collinear also let us write the equation of the line as 2x minus 3y minus 3 equal to 0 let us take another equation of the line as uh, 3x minus 4y minus 5 equal to 0. Again the same process we will follow. We will find three solutions. Let us draw a table over there. x and y let us take the value of x as minus 1 when you put x as minus 1 over there we will get the value of y as minus 2 when we put the value of x as minus 5 we will get the value of y as also minus 5 and when we take the value of x as 7 we get the value of y as 4 let us plot them on the graph same graph first point is minus 1 comma minus 2 this is minus 1 and here the minus 2 then the second point is minus 5 comma minus 5 so this is minus 5 and this is minus 5 this is our minus 5 comma minus 5 third point is 7 comma 4 so this is 7 and 4 will be there let us join these three points again we find that these are in same line they lie on the same line let us join the intercept were there and this is the graphical solution. Let us see what is A1. A1 is 2. B1 is minus 3. And C1 is minus 3. What is A2? A2 is 3. B2 is minus 4 and c2 is minus 5 
a1 upon a2 if we find it is 2 upon 3 and b1 upon b2 is 3 upon 4 they are not equal mean to say if a1 upon a2 is not equal to b1 upon b2 we got the solution means the lines will be intersecting they will be having a unique solution let us take another case because in this activity we will be needing three graph papers let the equation be 6x plus 10y minus 4 equal to 0 again same method will follow we will find three solutions let us take the value of x as minus 1 then value of y will come as 1 when we take the value of x as 4 the value of y will be minus 2 when we take the value of x as minus 6 the value of y will be 4 let us plot them first point is minus 1 comma 1 so here minus 1 here 1 so this is our first point then we have 4 comma minus 2 this is 4 and minus 2 will be there then we have 6 comma minus 6 comma 4 so this is minus 6 and uh, here we'll get a 4 let us join them when we join them what we see that these three points again are in lie on the same line now they will we'll take one more equation as uh, 3x plus 5y plus 11 equal to 0 same process we will find three solutions take the value of x as minus 7 when you put x as minus 7 the value of y will be 2 when we take the value of x as 3 the value of y will be minus 4 and when we take the value of x as 8 the value of y will be minus 7 let us plot them first point is minus 7 comma 2 so this is minus 7 and 2 will be there then we have next point is 3 comma minus 4 so this is 3 and minus 4 will be there 3 comma minus 4 next point is 8 comma minus 7 this is 8 and minus 7 will be there here 8 and minus 7 let us join them when we join these three points we get another line what we observe that these two lines are parallel if we compare the coefficient of a1 a1 is 6 b1 is 10 c1 is minus 4 a2 is 3, B2 is 5, and C2 is 11. 
if you find a1 upon a2 that is 6 upon 3 that will come as 2 if you find b1 upon b2 that is 10 upon 5 that is 2 so we came to know that that a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 but not equal to c1 upon c2 because c1 upon c2 is minus 4 by 11 so this is a case when a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 but not equal to c1 upon c2 we have infinite we have the parallel lines that is no solution exists okay let us now we'll case take the third case and uh, let us take the equation as uh, x minus 2y minus 5 equal to 0 let us draw the graph so first of all again the same process we will find the three solutions uh, take the value of x as 1 we will get the value of when you put x as 1 we will get the value of y as uh, minus 2 take the x value of x as minus 1 we will get the value of y as minus 3 and take the value of x as 7 y will be 1 let us plot them first value is 1 comma minus 2 so this is 1 and here the minus 2 then we have minus 1 comma minus 3 so this is minus 1 and it is minus 3 and the third point is 7 comma 1 so this is 7 here the 1 let us join them these three points again lie on this line let us take one another equation for this is uh, um, 2x minus 4y minus 10 equal to 0 when you find three solutions for it take x as minus 5 when you put x as minus 5 in the above equation we will get the value of y as minus 5 when we take as x as 3 y will be minus 1 and when we take the value of x as 1 y will be minus 2 now let us plot them first point is minus 5 comma minus 5 so this is minus 5 and this is minus 5 second is 3 comma minus 1 so this is 3 and this is minus 1 and next is 1 comma minus 2 so this is 1 and this is minus 2 same point so what do you find that these two lines are passing over the one another so we can say that here a1 is 1, b1 is minus 2, c1 is minus 5, a2 is 2, b2 is minus 4 and c2 is minus 10. So a1 upon a2 is 1 upon 2, b1 upon b2 is 1 upon 2 and c1 upon c2 that is minus 5 upon minus 10 is again 1 upon 2 so we find that here a1 upon a2 is equals to b1 upon b2 and equal to c1 upon c2 so this is a condition of infinite many solutions because here the lines are coincident that is their pass over the one another so here we have learned that the linear Equations in two variables have unique solutions that is intersecting lines. Some have no solutions that is parallel lines. And some have infinite many solutions that is coincident lines 